I personally love the deterioration. I like to call it the erosion of all the buildings in here. Like That's why I call it an industrial wasteland because nothing is really repaired. When you're looking at that, like there's such beauty and grace and comfort in knowing that things are getting eroded. Like they're returning to their natural state, like from dust to dust. I've seen that in a lot of like African-American work in the fashion industry in Bridgeport. There's really no limits to what you can do with a sewing machine at all. My name is Alicia Brockenberry. I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. I was born here, raised here. My grandmother, she wasn't a seamstress, but she would make all my clothes when I was a kid. I like to be very grassroots. I like to be making everything with my bare hands. I started a, a brand around the time I was like 14. It was called Beware Bridgeport and the signature was like like a screaming face with like these rays around it. And I printed so many of those shirts and would just sell them. My name is Chastity Anise Kennedy. I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut, born and raised. I'm a creative director. Uh, model, photographer, all that type of stuff. <laughs> I started gaining interest in fashion in high school, my senior year. But then I decided, hey, instead of modeling, I want to actually put on my own show. So it sparked Chastini's Productions. In August 2019, I um, launched my first show ever. And I also launched my cosmetics business the same day. Yeah, so it was... <laughs> It was a huge accomplishment for me. <laughs> but yeah, show your personality how Bridgeport you is want. filled with a lot of other people that are like me that create art, um, beautiful art too. My name is Janai Richardson. I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. I'm a model. So the, the way I got into fashion is actually kind of funny. So back in 2019, I was a makeup artist. I had my own business called Glammed Out Khalees. I had sought an opportunity from Chastity's lash business, her eyelash business, and she was looking for ambassadors. So, you know, over time, I started to shift my gears into wanting to be in front of the camera and turn it into a more personable experience for me. It's a beautiful experience being in the fashion industry. There's so many moving parts, so many big creative minds. But being from Bridgeport does unfortunately come with that side eye. Bridgeport police uh, releasing this body cam footage of an arrest they made yesterday. Get off! Defunding the police completely. Percentage of children here in Bridgeport living in poverty. It's a really, really big population of black and brown people. And when you look on the news and you look at Bridgeport, violence. That's what a lot of people attest Bridgeport to and minimize Bridgeport to. But there's so much more to Bridgeport than what your friend might have told you who lives miles and miles away and probably never been to Bridgeport in her life. If you just really take the time to understand and pay attention, there's so much beauty in Bridgeport. There's so much talent. and then you cut back. We're preparing for a Motherland fashion show, um, Life in Color 2023. This is my third annual Black Christmas Month event, so I'm very excited. <laughs> so right now we are rehearsing for the show. We're rehearsing a various amount of um, 
different formations, uh, requires different types of cuts, different um, techniques, and different poses. Walking up, cutting up top, walking straight back. So Motherland was the first time I ever had a team. I really feel like everything that we practiced beforehand, that's like the chaos. Make sure you cut. Okay, wait, let's do it again. So there was a little mishap there. That's it for now. Don't worry about the poses for now because I'm just, just trying to see something. Okay. So when I say chaotic, I don't mean it in a negative way. Okay, let's do this again. A lot of the models are beginners. Um, this is their first show. So um, if you've ever seen my show, you'll see like there's intricate, formations while well, I am directing the models. Um, we're just going over everything we practice. One, two. Modeling is a lot more technical than people would expect, but it's very technical down to posing. It's very technical to walking. The way Chastity likes to phrase it is you're a human hanger for the designer. You're literally, you're adorning someone like you're not capturing their essence, but you're acknowledging their essence by adorning them with what you visualize. You're conveying a message. You're supporting somebody's vision. This is something that someone curated with their own two hands. Like, it's a lot of care, it's a lot of love that goes into it. So, like, you're a moving part in helping their vision come to life. That's my intention when it comes down to the making garmentry, making artwork, anything like that, to let you feel fulfilled. You can feel that I put something into it for you. Show day is always like out of body experience. And then I go backstage and everybody's like, ah, because we're all just really like anxious to put on a really great production. I really want every show to have a message and I really want every show to mean something. So the message I wanted everyone to take away from Motherland, I want to bring light to how Africa has inspired today's fashion. Motherland was definitely like a very fun experience, like the live drumming while we were modeling. And it was just, it was so jam-packed with everything. <laughs> And like we got it done and it was just amazing. Fashion to me is all about expression. I view myself as the art. So that to me is precious. That's something that needs to be seen, something that needs to be, you know, catered to. I think what fashion means to Bridgeport is just giving us another layer because when people think of Bridgeport, so many things come to mind, but this is something else that's good, and that's what I'm proud of. I believe we'll continue to grow by just continuing to create and put our work out there. There's so much to come in regards to the fashion scene, in regards to Bridgeport. Do not sleep on us. That's the thing about here, like you really gotta forge the hell out of your own path. It's hard to have faith in a deteriorating community, but you just have to. You just have to.